So why do some people decide to take Social Security as soon as they can, as opposed to waiting until full retirement age? I think there's three main reasons. Uh, and the first is they may have a health issue. As they do the math and they look at, you know, what age do I need to live to in order to benefit by waiting uh, an additional year? They do the math and they say, it's unlikely I'm gonna get to that break even age. Um, and that makes sense. I, you know, just to use a simplistic example, if somebody thought that they were gonna pass away at 65, uh, and they can start taking retirement benefits now at 62, um, it probably makes a lot of sense to start taking Social Security early. So people are factoring that in. Um, I do wanna say this isn't Social Security advice uh, per se. These are just observations that I've seen and I'm sharing with you the main reasons that people have decided to, to take Social Security uh, payments early. Uh, I do wanna say actually, this, your local Social Security office is probably pretty good and can give you good advice when it comes your time uh, to make this decision. So with that out of the way, let's talk about the second reason, which is uh, they may have a need for the, for the cash flows now. Uh, they may have a family member that they want to help that th these cash flows will help them do that in a way that they can't without the cash flow payments. Um, they may have some debts that they want to pay down. They may want to uh, support a lifestyle that would be hard to support without taking Social Security early. Um, and they may also be in the situation where they can retire early uh, if only uh, they start taking Social Security early. And if you think about it, you know, there's the time cost of money and, you know, a dollar today is worth more to you than a dollar tomorrow. Um, but I think that's true in more than a couple ways as we begin to age. Yes, the financial calculation says that, right? Would you rather have a dollar today? Um, currently inflation is above 5%. Would you rather have a dollar today or a dollar next year? Well, of course you'd rather have the dollar today because it's not gonna buy as much in a year. But I think even outside of that financial calculation, uh, if you can take Social Security early and that allows you to retire and do something that you want to do now, um, you may not be able to do that in your mid 70s or your 80s, whatever that activity is. Maybe you want to travel around the world. Um, you know, maybe there's other activities that you want to do. You, want, you um, have always dreamed of uh, living the van life. Uh, and traveling around the United States or being able to spend time with uh, your adult children or your grandkids. Um, and some of these activities you can do now in your uh, early 60s that might be hard to do in your early 70s or early 80s. So that tends to be the second reason that people take Social Security early. It's just they have a need for the cash flows and, and they want to start taking those cash flows now. Um, and the third one's related, uh, but slightly different. And that is, you know, we've all been paying into Social Security for a long, long time. Uh, and it's gonna feel good the first time that we start getting the payments back, actually back from Social Security, as opposed to uh, just paying in and, and never seeing anything in return. So there definitely are people that, you know what? They've just always looked forward to getting their Social Security payment. Uh, and they want to start getting that as soon as possible. And they get joy uh, from being able to do that. Now, if you get joy from getting Social Security early, I, you know, that's definitely a factor con to consider. But if you're doing it because you're fearful that Social Security may not be around, uh, if, if you're in your early 60s uh, and worried Social Security may not be around for you, I, I don't have a crystal ball. I don't know for sure. My, my view on that though is, you know what? Seniors are a powerful voting block um, and I'm soon gonna be in that group myself. And you know, we vote uh, and Social Security is an important part of our life. So I think given the demographics of the United States, given the propensity to actually take political action, uh, given the, the desire, um, to just protect what we've paid into for many, many years. I think the likelihood of us not being able to depend on Social Security is pretty low. So that's my take. Uh, I'd love to hear what you think as well. Please feel free to leave a comment uh, in the comments section and do me a favor, uh, leave a like. It really does help quite a bit with the algorithm. Uh, 
I'm a young YouTube channel. I'm trying to get the word out and let people know what I talk about. And it would mean a lot to me if you take a second and hit the like button. Thanks for considering that. Until next time, I'm a Sewell reminding you, you're only young once. Be sure to take full advantage of the youth of your senior years.